fries and a Coke for lunch, chocolate pudding and grapes for an afternoon snack, and chicken nuggets with a biscuit and canned green beans for dinner, with low-fat ice cream for dessert. I see now what's happening with the way that we feed many of our children and our school systems. We shouldn't be surprised that we're seeing childhood obesity at the rates that we're seeing it. Dr. Neil Barnard is a medical researcher and president of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Well, the problem is when, when a kid is pulling his tray down the school lunch line, you see federal policies in action. There are burgers topped with cheese, the milk is heavily subsidized, but the vegetables and fruits a little bit harder to find. And this is because the government contracts are going to particularly the meat producers and, and other producers as well. No, you get a chance. I just finished eating. To do with the I want you to go put company. gas in the uh, car. It's going up tomorrow. Seven cents. What we have with the USDA is it's really a farmer's advocacy Seven. organization. Seven. And mm -hmm. okay, let's have one. But that same group cannot advocate for farmers, help subsidize their operations manage commodity foods and subsidize the price of growing things and then turn around and say okay we're gonna we're gonna tell people what to eat they're gonna tell people what to eat based on their constituents which are the farmers not the american public in 1998 barnard's group sued the usda every five years the government reformulates the dietary guidelines for americans that's the blueprint of what americans are supposed to eat to be healthy and we looked at the panel that pulled it together 11 people six mm -hmm. of the 11 relationships with the food industry. So we said, hey, wait a minute. There are laws about what they're supposed to do and how transparent 